Let's meet Dr Matthew Watson, an expert in natural disasters at the University of Bristol here in the UK. Good to have you with us. Um, uh, so as eruptions go, I know Fuego is, is quite an active volcano anyway, but just how exceptional was this eruption? Well, so, so Fuego's been erupting for a while. Um, the, after the 1974 eruption, there was a hiatus for about 25 years and reinitiated in 1999. For the last three and a bit years, um, it's actually been exploding quite regularly. So in terms of um, the timing of the eruption, it wasn't a particular surprise, I think. Um, the, the scale of the eruption, however, is quite different to anything we've seen over the last um, three or four years. It really is much bigger than anything that we've seen uh, since 1974. And uh, the, the villages were engulfed by um, what we call a pyroclastic flow. Now, uh, I've been reading about this. Apparently, it's, it's not like a, a normal lava flow, which is, which is quite slow. Uh, a pyroclastic flow is uh, quite fast moving, and people often don't realize how fast it is until it's almost upon them. Yeah, that's right. So, so the lava flows that we're seeing at Hawaii um, move at probably about the same speed that you would walk whereas um, a pyroclastic flow will travel about the same speed that you drive down the motorway. Um, so they're incredibly dangerous. They kill a lot more people than lava flows. They're very hot. Uh, they're, they're basically mixtures of particles, rocks, and gas. And, and they're very fluid, and they move really, really quickly down slope. So uh, an, an estimate of the amount of time it would have taken for the flow to get from the summit to the villages uh, that we're looking at now is probably somewhere around about 10 minutes. So you get, you get very, very little notice, and they're absolutely deadly. I mean, they're incredibly fatal, in fact. Yeah, and that's going to make the, the search operations uh, very difficult, I imagine. And the area which has been affected seems to be huge. Four different regions affecting uh, 1.7 million people. Yeah, that's right. So I think I think those numbers are large because there's a there's a, a, a couple of very large popula population centres uh, nearby. There's there's a hundred thousand people that live within about ten kilometres of Fuego, and the the city Guatemala City is only about forty kilometres away. So the people in the city have been affected by ash fall that that closes the airport, that makes their lives difficult. But actually, there's a few thousand people in the villages to the south that have been strongly impacted. You know, by the by, the sorts of uh, videos that we're seeing in the background here, that's a pyroclastic photo deposit that's actually hit a village, and that that's where the fatalities are. So probably thousands have been directly affected, and and and, and, and many many more indirectly. Matthew, thank you very much indeed for speaking with us. Appreciate your time, Dr. Matthew Watson. There.